Time to replace the canvas. Let's do this. I would not call this in good shape, so we're gonna replace the canvas. First thing we gotta do is remove a lot of little screws. Just yeah. holds that beading down. So take that off. A couple pieces of this. Climb back. It's a lot of screws. Got them all out. Just marking where the hinges are so that we can put them back in the same orientation. Get yourself a 4x4. Four four. Use it to hold the top up. Okay, so we got these nuts loose. We got things loose on the back. Now I'm going to close this up the rest of the way so we can compress this down. Zip tying these two together. These are full of springs. These actually do quite a bit of load assisting. It's mostly just filled with magic. I've never actually figured out how this works. And then we take the top. It's kind of crazy how much tension it takes to actually pull this down. That's what assists your top in going up. It's a lot of tension. Off, and it's in great shape. It just needs cleaned. Uh, we're gonna replace the skylight. Real nice, no cracks, no damage. Looks really good. What we've got. The car. The car's over there, all tarped up. And now we can replace the tent. And it cleaned up real nicely. I'm using this Milwaukee M12 impact driver. That is a lot easier than putting all the screws in by hand. Okay, so the new tent is on. I followed the instructions from Go Westy. Their video is pretty good. The corners are a little tricky to do, and I'm not that confident because the corners are what you really see when it's up, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. This is the OEM style German canvas. It's made of cotton. I got it from Van Cafe. Uh, they're made in Germany. They're made to OEM specs. I like the cotton ones over the synthetic ones because the synthetic ones, believe it or not, do not breathe very well. So, uh, especially if you're just using it for standing height and ventilation, a synthetic one sort of doesn't do that as well as a cotton one. So here it is. It's on. We'll put the roof back on the car next. Or anything that will affect our sealant. This is the pop top gasket. This is the one piece OEM style. I've used the aftermarket system from Go Westy in the past and not liked it. So I bought this one piece one from Van Cafe. And I'm hoping it fits better around these corners, particularly the back corner. This is where they always seem to not fit so well. Let's see how we do. So far, so far I really like the way this seal fits. It's a lot better than the aftermarket beading. I'm just putting it on with a little bit of 3M black super weather strip adhesive just right along this edge. That tappity tap tapping it down with the hammer so it stays nice and even works pretty good I've got the canvas on this is the OEM style German cotton canvas and the new seal all the way around this is the one piece OEM style seal I like this seal a lot more this paint than up here that's the color she should be pretty Ready to put the top on. Okay guys, we got the top on the top and then we have the bottom to do yet. I have to make some adjustments first and then... Okay, so this top seal fits really nice. I'm very impressed with it up here, but on this side, not so much. We've got a little bit of a gap here. I wish it was tighter, but the elongated bolts back there, I have it pulled all the way forward, and it's still not so good here. The other side, on the other hand, is pretty good. See, so this side here, we're right where we want to be. A little bit of a gap there. This side moved forward quite a bit. That side, it's already maxed, so not really sure if we need to mill that out and take the whole top off or if there's enough adjustment up here to bring that side back a little on the luggage rack 
or maybe we just need to suck the whole thing down a hair more. I'm not sure. Otherwise, I really love this seal. The back corners are, there's a gap here, but there's always been a gap here on every one I've ever seen. I think it's still sealing. The inner seal is touching, but not it's sure. It's a pretty key thing. This is a pretty key thing they leave out in the Go Westy video, but to make it around the front and back corners, you wanna cut these little grooves. This is the way the factory did it. It makes a much tighter seal. It fits a lot better and it'll clear that corner way better. Make sure you cut those so out. I got the top on, it's all good. This is the OEM style German one. Looks really nice, actually. It's all the way on and looking pretty solid. So we got that on and now it's time to do the luggage rack. We need to replace the seals up here and put some stainless bolts in and clean it and all that stuff. So comparing our old skylight to our new one this is tinted which is actually really the way it should be but interestingly this is a double pane one now this vehicle was sold in europe which might make sense but there are actually two panes of glass here i don't know that that was a standard us thing that's pretty cool it's ruined so it's getting a new one but kind of cool i'm a little bit disappointed that the stock hardware coming off this doesn't actually fit through this hole it's got it's a shoulder bolt and from the factory it came with a little bit of a piece of rubber around it but these holes are too small so i guess i get to drill them out which is a bummer because this is brand new why can't they just make it the right size hole it looks like the stock size is m5 by 0.8 so it's actually an m5 bolt by uh 16 millimeter long this is a pretty cool setup this is a tool i got off amazon and it's got all the different threads on it so you can figure out what it is you actually have. Very useful. I love it. So the stock size hole is 7.62 millimeters. And the aftermarket size hole is 5.8. Why don't they just make it the right size hole? That's disappointing. This in the foreground is the new seal for the skylight this is the old one look at the difference in the shape so they both have a channel down here that crimps onto something but this is just a d channel and this is more of a flap i'm not very uh i'm a little bit disappointed to see the profile be this different i mean i hope it works okay the new seal is on and it's a, it's a pretty good fit i guess i just hope it seals tight enough it feels like the wrong shape I know we don't have this cinched down yet, but this fit sucks. See, this is all curved, so it's hitting a flat gasket. And that gasket's nowhere near big enough. It's basically not even getting inside of this. This fit sucks, guys. I'm gonna tighten all this stuff up. We'll see if it gets better, but that fit is bad. Put a little grease on there. That should make that move nice. Okay. Everything is tightened up and adjusted, and I still think this thing fits like crap. It's bowed. There's a big gap here, even though we're tight back here and tight up here. I could stick my finger under there. That seal is not sealing from about here to about there. It's the same thing on both sides. Mm, not so impressed by this. This is, this is some crap. Why is this crap? Well, this is the kind of crap I always find under here. This is why you have to take them off. This just it just gets in. Other things. There's pieces of foam here. I'm missing one there. And there's these little tiny edges that are actually cast into the fiberglass. Can't forget about these rubber washers either. These, there's four of them. One stuck to this, the other three came off with the studs. And then there's also rubber washers on the inside. So there's one there, but there isn't one there, and there aren't any on the fronts. Um, which means I'm missing one for this side. I don't know about the fronts. So we'll get that all corrected. I'll glue the replacements on. Looking right. below the top, we have some paint peeling here. This seems to be original, but it's coming off, which means this top is going to have to get painted at some point. Which is a bummer. This is all 
down to bare metal here too. Very interesting. This is the seal we're gonna put on. Let's see how it fits. Made in America. So we put these little pieces of screen on with our total boat. Pretty good.